During an interview conducted by Europe One television channel on Tuesday, Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi called on the United Nations to form an international coalition to fight terrorist groups in Libya. On Wednesday, Al Sisi was shown inspecting one of the country's military air bases in the western part of the country. He has praised recent airstrikes conducted by Egyptian air forces in Libya. The Egyptian leader's calls for an international military intervention in Libya is being seen as a move aimed at removing Egypt from facing accusations of assaulting the Libyan sovereignty if it is to continue airstrikes. Why did the president ask for an international coverage? Nobody blames Egypt now for airstrike it conducted, because Egyptians were killed in Libya. But if another airstrike was conducted, Egypt would be accused of assaulting the Libyan sovereignty, and may face problems with the international community. USA said that the airstrike was conducted without coordination with the U.S. administration. What coordination are they talking about? The USA waged war against two countries. And it destroyed them when the World Trade Center twin towers were struck. This is the simplest procedure that could be taken. Meanwhile, the United Nations Security Council has met to discuss the issue. UN Special Envoy to Libya Bernardino Leon said that Islamic State and other militants can only be defeated with a united Libyan government in place that has strong international support. Also on Wednesday, U.S. President Barack Obama said that the fight against violent extremism did not mean it was a fight against Islam, and the world should resist granting religious legitimacy to terrorist groups. We must never accept the premise that they put forward, because it is a lie. Nor should we grant these terrorists the religious legitimacy that they seek. They are not religious leaders; they're terrorists. And we are not at war with Islam. We are at war with people who have perverted Islam. Obama stressed that it was vital not to stigmatize any community just because of their faith, and called on Muslim leaders to speak up in the fight against violent extremism.